very rude comment. I just received that. It didn't really make much sense. It just asked me if I was dumb. Um, brought up a huge pet peeve I have with Christians. Um, the video I had um, been called dumb on was saying that it was dangerous to have faith. And that is dangerous. Um, anybody who believes everything they are told without researching the facts and blindly believes and lives their life by dogma, um, by what another human being told them was true over 2,000 years ago. And then you have to play this mental gymnastics in your head to make it all even fit right. Like, there's a freaking dinosaur walking with people museum in the south somewhere. Like, yeah, let's just pretend science doesn't exist, okay? This is what is the problem with society, and this is what is my problem with Christians, okay? You need to stick your head up out of the sand and look around um maybe um just to prove me wrong um if you're so um you got that faith you just have so much faith with no evidence and actually contradictory evidence and you just need to prove me wrong i i would love love for you to go um research um other sources, um, historical documents that are objective. Um, I've researched a lot and there really isn't much out there. Um, the best they can say is Jesus was a very popular name. Um, there was a Jesus around the time when King Harold was there, so we narrowed down the time to then. That was a political, well, political activist. Um, he was religious, um, but it was about how the Romans had come in and the Jewish leaders um, had let themselves be corrupted with money. That's probably the only accurate, if any, in the Bible when he overturned the money changers' tables. Okay, um, he was he was actually um, on the cross upside down, which is a symbol for being a traitor. Um, and the Dead Sea Scrolls, um, they can't even really find anything in that. Like, that looks like, um, maybe, maybe not, um, but if so, he never wanted to change the church. He just wanted people to love each other. Um, gosh, Catholics, I mean, seriously, you guys, like, are Christians, but especially Catholics. You guys put all these little ridiculous rules to such high importance and if I'm gonna hypothetically pretend that I believe that um, Jesus was the Son of God um, I went to Catholic school I didn't even know the Bible um, Jesus's only request was that we love the Father with I'm sorry, I can't remember the exact thing, but love the Father with all your heart better than anyone and do unto others as you want them to do unto you, the golden rule. Love people. Turn the other cheek. Um, don't call people dumb. Um, I would love if... I mean, I actually don't know what to call myself because I do follow what the message is. I am a Christian without believing Jesus was the Son of God or anything written in that Bible, okay? I, um, not, I actually feel that I lead a better life than every Christian, pretty much, I've met. There's a few good ones out there, but... I'm sorry, when when you're out there protesting pro-life and tormenting girls and then acting like you care so much about this human being and then you for 
go and you don't care about the kid once it's out of the womb because you don't want to pay for health care from your taxes. You don't want any money going to welfare with the single moms yet. You want all these people to have these babies. And I'm not saying all Christians are pro-life, crazy, kill Dr. Tillman types. But they're there. And uh, gosh. And then the Catholic Church. I could go on and on and on about that. But the main thing is that they systematically fucked children. And the Pope now, who's supposed to be Jesus walking on earth, it's in some uh, Christian encyclopedia from the early 1900s. That it, that's true. Um, the church recognizes the Pope as Jesus walking on earth. Well, Jesus before he was made Jesus walking on earth, was the person who decided that saving the church was more important than stopping boys from being molested. They just switched the priests around, didn't tell anybody, and I would call that a conspiracy, if not um, just, oh gosh. And a job transfer. <laughs> well, yeah, if the Pope were the CEO of a major daycare agency, um, like world or United States, the whole countrywide, and they were shipping daycare workers to a different location because they were molesting kids, he'd be in jail so fast your eye, head would spin, okay? Now, the Pope should be in jail. Um, I, however, do not have the resources to invade his um, little home that is a city or country um that is the only reason that he has not been brought to trial there's a lot of um, leaders in europe that if he steps foot him and president i'm sorry governor bush because he was never elected president but george w both of them if they step into any of these countries um there's a few in europe i don't want to name them off my top of my head right now but um yeah they're going to be arrested for um I, I mean, do I even have to say? Um, conspiracy to systematically fuck children? I don't know. Um, and of course, Bush, duh, torture, starting wars, um, I can name a million things, murder, um, basically sending innocent, oh, that's another thing, pro-lifers, you do like people again once they're 18, because they can join the military and go fight your wars, because... It's okay to murder people if they don't believe in the same invisible God that you do. Apparently, that is the only solution I can come up with you being so war-hungry. Um, yeah, faith is dangerous. Anything is dangerous that you don't go and research other facts or sources. I mean, you obviously, I mean, you didn't obviously not go to college, but I, I'm assuming, like, I, if you called me, if your reply was, no, are you dumb? Uh, that, that wouldn't pass in fifth grade as an answer to a question, okay? So, that's where I'm basing my you did not go to college off of. But if you had gone to college and had to write any sort of paper whatsoever, um, you would have to go and check out every different source and different opinions and evaluate which ones are the most accurate in your opinion. Um, society today just buries their head to a lot of things. It's the same thing. They just are taught one thing. Um, the dumbing down of America, our education system is in ruins. Um, especially, I don't know all Catholic schools, but mine um, spent about 70% of our time on the Bible and zero on science and zero on geography. A little on social sciences and um, the rest reading and math. And we learned a lot of songs we got to sing in the gym on Friday. But yeah, if you grow up questioning something and you're really, really scared to question it because you're a little kid and you believe that even thinking something like that 
God's gonna like hear it in your head and you're gonna go to hell um, I'm sorry that's child abuse and that's torture and it is dangerous okay the rest of society needs to get their head out of the sand and see what's going on around you too and please please research and give me a very well-developed argument as to why faith is good and not dangerous not please